This is a presentation for the natural gas pipe sizing. This presentation is applicable for domestic appliances. We have presented a general demand cable for the domestic appliances, which can be used as a reference. Otherwise, with the selected appliances, a given gas requirement from the manufacturers can be followed for sizing the pipes. Table 1 is giving certain data of some domestic appliances. Similar to this, here what we see, a similar table also giving the input required for the domestic gas. So the procedure for designing the pipe sizes are as follows. Number one, we have to establish the longest run of the pipe from the gas meter to farthest appliance in use that may be in linear feet or in linear meter. Then add up the BTU input of all appliances connected to this gas those are actually located in the drawings once we start working. Thirdly, we have to refer the table 10.1 as shown here and enter the table at the longest run column and don't forget it out of it. This statement, if we reread it, that we have to establish a total longest distance from meter to the farthest point for the purpose of calculating the friction losses. The next thing which we have to do, we have to read the size of the pipe using the columns as shown in the table 10 one and as explained in each slide. So design criteria taken for this presentation is gas pressure 0.5 psi or less. Generally the domestic gases are supplied at this pressure. Then the pressure drop of 0.3 inches water column and the gas specific gravity 0.6 the volume the 11,000 BTU equal to 1 CFM of the natural gas this is the sample schematic diagram we are having which is showing from the gas meter to the end to the generator what we can see from here that the dimensions are given for the pipe length just to calculate the total pipe length of the pipe and a simple method is also presented on this which is to be referred accordingly as explained here this is a sample layout of the drawing which is wrench house. What we see here they have given the location of the equipment along with the lens to the branches and the gas demand 
This one it shows the starting point from the word gas meter which shows it will be rising 8 feet and then it will be supplied to the hot water boiler which requires 100 MBS and also the same branch will supply to water heater that is 50 MBH. Here in this area where this is supplying to the clothes and dryers which has a demand of 35 MBH. Likewise, the cooking range will have a demand of 45 MBH along with its lens etc are given and the last point what we see over here is a login fireplace so the total length of this pipe is having this one that is the 8 feet and the 15 feet 3 feet and that 3 feet similarly this is presented here it becomes roughly about 87 linear feet that will be our basis of calculating the friction losses according to the table 10 one now this this slide is presenting the total VTU in MBH which you can see from here this is 100 MBH this is 50 MBH, this is 35 MBH, this is 45 MBH and this is 60 MBH total is roughly about 219 MBH so from the previous slide and this slide we have calculated the longest length of the pipe and the total demand of the system. So we start with the sizing of the total length. What we have to refer this is column is giving the length of the pipes with the interval of roughly 10 feet out being the 87 which pass between 80 and 90 and our demand is about 290 MBS so between here and here what we have and when we refer to this this will become the pipe diameter so to size with the starting point from the gas meter outlet our pipe size will be 1 1 quarter inch to proceed with the next what we see over here this pipe is sized as a 1 1 quarter inch and when we have the next step minus when we come over here it is showing about 100 plus 50 150 B those are actually supplied to this point and the rest will be about 140 MBH that will be calculated for from this point to this point which will be supplying over here what we see again that this being the 90 feet this is within the length maximum length and our demand being 140 MBH we are selecting a 160 MBH which will require 1 inch pipe diameter and that is how the pipe diameter for the next 
will be child. To proceed further, what we have the next branch will be supplying 105 mbh this is explained over here same way 160 and this is 170 within this length our pipe diameter also will be 1 inches likewise what we see over here the reduced consumption or reduced demand is calculated and the pipes are sized according to the table in the same manner for the branches and other areas. This way same thing when we are supplying to the boiler and hot water branches this is reduced and the same thing are proceeded and the pipes are sized accordingly That's the way we are actually proceeding and sizing our pipe accordingly. All these things are actually self-explanatory. Methods will remain same according to what we were doing means establish the demand establish the length total length establish the pipe diameter that is from the column which is given according to the length of the pipe and the demand of the appliance and that is how we have concluded our pipe sizing this way each slide is explaining according to the demands within the length the total pipe length and the pipe diameter. In general, to repeat this, we know this factor that is the length of the maximum length of the pipe. We happen to know the demand and against this demand we have to select the pipe diameter. That is how all the pipes are sized and explained over here. This is a repetitive work according to its demand for the branches and other things. Virtually it matters the same which is explained earlier for all type of pipe sizes including branches and the main pipe. Hope 
you are able to understand that the way we have explained sizing can be carried on by you in your practice so to repeat again see we have established the maximum demand which is up to here the demand reduces after this when these things are supplied to these two appliances so after supplying to this this will be sized according to main demand minus these two demand similarly once this is supplied to this this reduced size will be followed with this size and this will carry on up to here to here to supply this we will be having this demand main criteria will always prevail is the we have to select the demand along the total pipe length with the demand to the appliances or the gas to be carried out on the given pipe which we are going to size and that is how it is going to work thank you very much thanks for listening